on guys i'm steve welcome back to the channel welcome back to another video if it's your first time stopping by the channel hit that subscribe button trust me you won't regret it you're a return to subscribe as always guys welcome back and i do appreciate the support guys i'm going to talk about news that broke yesterday out of fall city washington shout out wherever that is and uh it's involving a family dispute that took place in which a teenage boy now they're not saying if this is a son or a relative but they, they're hinting at it. Took a gun and wiped out five of the seven people, excluding himself and a, a teenage girl who was shot twice who escaped. So this kid, this boy, not specifying his age or his name or anything or the name of the victims, he's locked up, supposed to be in court today sometime. So I was trying to wait around to see if they showed him and find out what the motive was. But it hasn't come up yet, so I just wanted to get the story out there, let you guys see it, and take a look. Man, it's, it's kids just turning guns on their parents now. We live in a violent, violent society. Take a look at this, and this is what they knew so far. Yeah, Maria. Well, 24 hours after those initial 911 calls came in, investigators are still here at the scene. And you just heard from one of the neighbors. It is absolutely heartbreaking to hear neighbors talk about this family. And Think about what went on in that home early yesterday morning. As you said, a teen boy is expected to be in court at some point today, if not tomorrow. We are still waiting on the sheriff's office and the prosecutor to confirm what exactly happened. But so far, I can tell you 911 calls started coming in around 5 a.m. yesterday. I can tell you a family of seven lived at that home. Five people are confirmed dead, two adults, three children. We know somebody in the home home hid in the bathroom to call 911 and we know a teen girl was shot twice but was able to get out of the house and get help. Now when deputies arrived on scene they say they immediately took a teen boy into custody. It does appear to be that this is a family incident, uh, clearly a domestic violence incident that involves not only uh, a young man who's now in significant uh, trouble and it, it, it involves firearms. So polite, homeschooled, and it's just, it's unfathomable. Right now it's unclear what that teen suspect's exact relationship is to the family. The sheriff's office tells us he lived at the home. It's unclear if he is one of the seven nuclear family members or if he is related in some other way. We know he does have the same last name and we're working to get more confirmation on that today. In a press release, King County Council member Sarah Perry says the two youth who survived are safe and that a local family member has stepped forward to take custody of them. As far as that teen suspect's first court appearance, it could be as soon as 1.30 this afternoon at the Clark Child and Family Justice Center in Seattle, or it could be tomorrow. Meantime, investigators are still using search warrants to collect more information on what exactly happened here. Back out here at the scene, we know the Washington State Patrol Crime Lab is expected to arrive a little later on this morning, so we will wait for more updates on that and keep you posted. For now, reporting live in Fall City, I'm Taylor Winkle, Fox 13 News. They were always out walking their dogs and with their kids on bikes, and everybody knew them. Our other top story out of Fall City, investigators say a shooting left five out of seven family members dead and neighbors in shock. The King County Sheriff's Office says a teen is in custody tonight and will be booked on possible murder charges. Thank you for joining us for Fox 13 News at 10. I'm Sabir Rayford. And I'm David Rose. Fox 13's Jennifer Dowling is here to share where this investigation goes from here. And Jen, what are neighbors telling you about this family? Well, neighbors say the oldest teen in the home, they believe, was around 15 years old. They say although the parents oftentimes kept to themselves busy with work and home projects, the kids were often out in the neighborhood socializing, stopping by to say hi, and sometimes even helping with projects around the neighborhood. I only saw the children in the driveway yesterday, yesterday afternoon. As the rain fell on Lake Alice Monday, 
It matched the somber mood of neighbors like Lynn Trowan. I just punched into I was shocked to keep bursting into tears. Watching as King County deputies investigated a shooting that devastated the large family that was well known in this lakeside community. The kids would come over and, and 4th of July and play with sparklers and everything. Trowan says the five kids could be seen fishing and boating from the water's edge here off the beach of their lakeside home all summer. The little girl just recently painted me a picture and she gave it to me like a couple of months ago and I still have that little picture. Neighbors said the kids were helpful, well behaved and the whole family could be seen walking around the lake almost daily. So polite, homeschooled and it's just it's unfathomable. Sunday the sound of music could still be heard coming from the kids' piano in the garage. It was very quiet there yesterday up till about four o'clock. I think they came home from somewhere and the kids were just running up and down in the driveway as usual. One of the boys was playing the piano in the garage and and then it started to rain, so I came in. The music was silenced overnight, just before 911 calls started coming in. I shot the other family members. There's five total, not including the RP who's hiding in a bathroom. The King County Sheriff's Office reports that a teen girl was shot two times, but was able to get out of the house to get help. We learned that there was uh, a neighbor who had medical experience who was uh, providing aid to an injured individual, uh, presumably who had been shot but was surviving. Deputies described chaos upon arrival with two adults and three kids dead in the home. They immediately took one uh, young male, teenage male, into custody. It does appear to be that this is a family incident, uh, clearly a domestic violence incident that involves not only uh, a young man who's now in significant uh, trouble, and it, it involves firearms. Deputy Mellis says the girl that escaped was taken to Harborview for treatment. It just, I just keep seeing the faces and those children. And, and I, don't, I don't know the details or anything, but um, I know something terrible has happened there. So. As for what's next, the investigation will continue tonight. As you can see, it's still ongoing behind me. And then investigators say they will expand it, executing multiple search warrants on things like cell phones and social media apps to try to learn more about what happened here. Reporting live in Fall City, Jennifer Dowling, Fox 13 News. All right, guys, that's what we know so far until this young man goes to court and they find out what the motive is. And if this girl survives, she can tell what happened. So stay tuned for an update. But um, you see the neighbors describe them as good kids and always taking walks as a family and so on and so forth. But that has no bearing on what can happen inside the house. See, the outside reflection of what's seen outside is what's seen outside. Don't know what's going on. I don't know what made this uh, guy do this, but I mean, evidently he was pissed off about something. And we'll find out what it was. But... uh. Hopefully an update will come out today. I seen this yesterday, and it was a bunch of long press conferences, which I didn't want to put up on video. But it's just alarming how kids don't take into consideration the sacrifices and things that are done for them to make sure they're safe and in a situation of a proper upbringing to where they'll turn and sink their teeth into the same necks of the people that nurture them. And that's the main reason why I did this video. It's like... Long time ago, this was damn near unheard of. Now it's almost a common occurrence, whereas parents are getting killed by the kids. So we'll see how this go, man. But, I mean, this is tragic. It is. I mean, they describe them as nice people, but, I mean, hell can be going on inside the house. You never know. Stay tuned for an update. I'm Stock Market Steve for the Dynamic Reason Channel. As always, like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.